some uh, Coptic Christians there. Yeah, yeah. So you know Coptic Christians, yeah, isn't it? Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Born and bred as a Christian and for many generations. So you've looked into Islam or you uh, used to be Muslim? Minimally, no, no, I didn't used to be Muslim. I was never Muslim. Okay. I was joking, uh, no, just okay. to provoke the gentleman. <laughs> but uh, no, no, I was never Muslim uh, stuff. I am, I am of the, do you see the lady with the Charlie Hebdo? You see Charlie Hebdo, caricature of Muhammad? Oh, uh, what's her name? Um, Hatun, you're with Hatun. I'm not, no, 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 I'm oh. not. But just to tell you a bit my color, yeah. I am of the French secular democratic tradition. Okay. Because oh. in my country, in Egypt, yeah. we don't have speaker's corner. Oh, Why? Yeah. Because Islam uh, really prohibits things. Uh, Islam prohibits things or the government and the country prohibits things? Both. Both. Can you? Because if Islam prohibited, I wouldn't be here today. Yes. <laughs> why? 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 Because you're here preaching, trying to convert people yeah, towards Islam. Yeah. But the thing is, let's just say in other countries as well, uh, Christians, Jews, they have dialogues, interfaith dialogues. Not in any Islamic country, but in the other countries, yeah. Yeah, in Pakistan, they have interfaith dialogues. There are Jews and Christians in Pakistan. Yes, of course. Don't you kill uh, Jainites like Khirfan, like uh, like uh, sheep? Khirfan. Uh, Khirfan means sheep in Arabic. But yeah. like um, the the Indians, what you, what Pakistanis do to Indians, uh, Hindus rather. Are you aware of what's going on in India at the moment? Uh, surface. Because surface. because I, I I swear by all that is holy. If I even show you a fraction of what's going on in India, you won't be able to sleep today. So you think it's retaliation? I didn't I've been sense. following the India thing for the last year. Studiously, it's I've normal. been following You're it. Pakistani, India, Pakistan, no. it makes sense. For, for me, to be honest, I'm a Muslim. So I will follow anything to do with Muslims and Islam. That's, that's what I will follow because Muslims are my brothers and my sisters. Yeah, even people of other faiths, they, they are my brothers and sisters in humanity. But Muslims are my brothers and sisters in faith. But one thing to bear in mind, bro, is in India, Muslims are a minority. Yeah. This white partition. The, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm, I'm interested to hear in what has given you the impression that Muslims are oppressing Indians in India. Uh, no, I never said in India. We were talking about Pakistan. Hindu, you're saying Hindus, isn't it? In Pakistan. Oh, in Pakistan? Yeah, oh, my course. mistake. Because you're telling me there's interfaith dialogue. Yes. And my counter was that not in any Islamic country in the world. This is why also there isn't a single piece of literature, science, company, nothing that came out of the Islamic world since the fall of Baghdad. No literature that's come from the fall of Baghdad. Two Nobel Prize winners are Muslims. One is come from Egypt. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. But uh, two, compare this to how many the Jews win. The Jews are 10 million. Yeah. There are 1.6 or 7 billion Muslims, and there are 10 million Jews. The Jews win one Nobel out of four. Yeah. And out of all this Islamic mass, there isn't a single Nobel Prize or a piece of good literature or anything like that. Okay, interesting. So you feel? Do you feel, in your opinion, that? The Nobel Prize or the Nobel Peace Prize? Yeah, it's bullshit. Okay, there it's you bullshit, go. It's bullshit, 100%. Thank you. It's just Thank a question. You. No, no, no. no, no being I, honest. No, no, 100%, yeah, 100%. I like the question is, what is a good measure of flourishing and prosperity? Screw the Nobel Prize for That's minute. fine, that's fine. Screw it. I think, honestly, I think we're going on a tangent. We'll come back to this, no problem. Do you, I think, let's go with the foundation, the bedrock. Mm. Do you believe in a God or a higher no. power? You don't believe no, no, in a God? No, I'm democratic, I'm secular. I'm... I'm I'm from Charlie Hebdo, you know. Okay. I'm, Charlie uh, Hebdo is a person, though. No, no, it's a, it's a newspaper. Okay. Well, you used to work for the newspaper. No, no, but I'm affiliated ideologically okay. of the French tradition, secularism, right. separation between state and church. That's yeah. the only reason why we can talk. I like that the lady was wearing Charlie Hebdo, but then I talked to her two minutes. She tells me she's Christian. Yeah. Under Christianity, the UK was a dark age. Mm. Speaker's Corner, people used to hang them there for a thousand years. And that's why today they stand on things. Mm. Because they used to say one last message before they get killed, you know? Yeah. And th that was Speaker's Corner under Christianity. And this is Speaker's Corner under democracy. And this is what I advocate for. I don't, uh, and I don't care about your private theology or cosmology. I don't particularly care. Mm. What I care is about restriction on girls' clothes, on what we can say on what we can do. This so you disagree with what's going on in France with regards to 
forcing women to take off the hijab? Not in public institutions. So, initially you said you don't... I don't want to misconstrue what you said. You said not to dictate what people are wearing, in other words. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. Absolutely. So, if people are wearing something out of choice, you're okay with it being removed in certain institutions? So, it depends on the person's age. At school, it makes sense that, for example, you cannot go to a French school with a cross or a hijab or um, the Jewish uh, Star of David. Forbidden. Why? For the same reason you cannot have sex under 18. Because you do not have consent. Are Sikhs, do Sikhs have to take off their turban when they everyone, go to? Everyone, everyone, 100%. Sikhs take off their turbans in France? Everyone. Uh, no, in school. Yeah, yeah, in school. 100%, 100%. Sikhs take them off? Yeah, I'll bet, 100%, I'll bet you, 100%. I went to a French school and uh, I'm of a French uh, canon, 100%. Okay, what about the new candidate, Le Pen? She's, she's trying to say that hijab should be off even in public as well. Do you agree yeah, with that? Yeah, no, no. No, no, of course, people should wear whatever they want. Okay, so if, let's just say, a person... Of course, of course, you wouldn't agree. You wouldn't, like, uh, if I... Uh, you if, go for if it, I go think, for it. Yeah. What is this? He's but, uh, uh, yeah. knows best. <laughs> but, um... Be frank, be open. Yeah, no, I yeah. think... I don't have a problem with the hijab, but I think you would have a problem with mini skirts. And just like you would have a problem with somebody taking off their speedos or their underpants. I was walking the other day in Buckingham Palace and I see a million people uh, naked in the bike. I didn't, I changed my route, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, and personally, yeah. I do believe in women modesty and think, for example, my girlfriend, my sister, my sister doesn't hold her boyfriend's hand in front of me. You know? I grew up in Egypt where uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not as liberal as here. But I would never stop someone else from wearing hot shirts. If everything I like, if anything I like it when I see a hot shirt. Yeah. So my question to you is who, who decides? For example, you said uh, when it comes to the bottom garment, some people take it off, some people leave it on. Who decides what is modesty and what's not modesty? The person. The person. The idea is that it's out of the hand of government or theocratic or otherwise or despotic. So France is a liberal government, isn't it? It is. So they've decided what is modesty and what's not modesty. Why? No, why? I, I would have thought because they, they are saying that the hijab is not modesty. However, maybe wearing uh, a bra is no, modesty. It's not a question of modesty. It's, it's similar to the reason why the swastika is forbidden. Because it's anti-democratic. So, I don't understand. What's the logic behind keeping the bra on? Yeah, no, no, no. You see, most girls don't keep the bra. On. No, but according to the French, because you're from France. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. But uh, what, what did you say about France? What did I say about France? I'm not even. Oh, sure you're part of the Charlie Hebdo. Yeah, yeah, canon tradition. Okay, okay. Ideology. Okay, that's why the and your accent is very French as well. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't lose this. <laughs> okay, no, it's a, it's a good no, thing. It's, it's, mixed smooth. French, Arabic, things like this. No? Okay, so the the bra. How does your tradition? say that bra is wrong? Uh, bra is wrong? No, it doesn't say anything. Doesn't because say anything. according... The only thing it says is that open debate, the only thing it does say, democratic governments do say, is to have places like pluralism, of like multiple opinions should be heard. And this is why we have speaker's corner. This is why America has the First Amendment. So, so you think bra is not like, even if it's off, it's okay? For other people, a hundred, I don't care. I don't okay. care. If you were with your daughter, yeah. um, and she saw somebody wearing nothing at the top and at the bottom, would you carry on walking there or would you take her away? I would take her away. I'll take her away. Like, whatever. Why, why though? What, because uh, you cannot, for the same reason, they don't show pornographic movies to children. But what's, what's wrong with that under liberal framework? How can you prove it's wrong? It's, that's the thing. Uh, the liberal is liberalism and democracy is not a moral framework. I have my personal moral framework, and I do whatever I want. Just like someone else might show uh, their daughter, uh, they might not have a problem. When I told you when they went to Buckingham Palace and men and women were naked, yeah. some people kept so their you, children, okay. some people uh, yeah. took their children away. And there are a lot of uh, like some people with big beards like yourself that kept their children there. Do, so, who am I to, uh, yeah. Okay, so you're, you're saying there's a distinction between the government and personal, yeah? yeah? Okay, then personally to you, how can you prove that that's wrong, exposing 
the top and the bottom? It's not a matter of proof. It's not a mathematical matter. It's a matter of taste. It's like you, I like to eat uh, spaghetti, you like to eat... So on what, on what basis would you say that your taste is like that? Uh, um, how I grew up. I society? Grew up. Uh, my family, the, yeah. Culture, yeah. society, yeah, exactly, family. Exactly. Okay, so do you believe that somebody under a liberal framework that believes on individual values can impose things on a governmental level? Um, it depends what. For example, we can't kill each other. But, but you're or you saying... you can prohibit someone else's free speech. But you said liberalism, it doesn't uh, kind of it's promote a... morality. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Except... But then curbing or talking about freedom of speech, that's morality. Telling someone to cover up, not cover up, that's morality. Is it... It's a tough question. You do, you do need the stomach to, to be able to take things that offend you. So to that degree, it might be morality, but in general, it's... This is how we prosper. This is how the West prospered. It's just some practical rules to go forward. It's not really morality. Because you see, this is why in the West, people of all cultures come, because it doesn't prescribe a certain morality. It just says we have to be pluralistic, all accepting, things like that. So the Western world, obviously, they follow liberalism, democracy, and the likes. And when they, sometimes when they interfere or invade other countries, they go in with the, na with the notion of oh, spreading democracy. Do you agree with this notion of um, forcibly imposing democracy on countries that don't want it? Yeah, no. I, I don't agree with this. Uh, I did support the Tahrir movement when I was in Egypt and like with the Arab Revolution. Uh, I don't think interventionism is okay. I am one of the very few people that... Um, th there is a big question. Were the Americans wrong to come and, uh, and force Hitler out? I think Saddam Hussein was as bad as Hitler, if not worse. So I think Iraq, it's as justifiable as Normandy when they came to liberate Fersa. But other than this... Why would you compare Saddam with Hitler? He was worse than Hitler. I think so. a lot of Jewish people will be upset with what you yeah, just no, said. Yeah, no, I don't much care about the fans, <laughs> but, uh, but no, Saddam, Hitler didn't do any of the killings uh, on his own. There's a YouTube video, Saddam, uh, Saddam sitting leg on leg on the table with a cigar the day he took power. And he points to half the room, uh, tells them they're traitors and to go out, and the other half goes to kill them. Saddam used to kill people with his own hands. Hitler never got that far. Okay, so it's interesting, I mean, personal opinion, but I, I think there's a correlation here. So, so you're saying liberalism is primarily based upon the individual, use the word taste, yeah? Sure. Okay, so if... Which, if you can compare morality to taste, which I do, I think there's no absolute. Okay, so how, how would you then have an absolute stance on freedom of speech if there's no absolute morality? Because I don't think freedom of speech is a moral issue. It's, okay. it's more of a practical issue of like, if we don't have speakers' corners and we don't exchange our ideas, everyone will be poorer. Because maybe you have some truth in your Islamic gospel. Maybe I have some truth in my democratic gospel. So truth you're equating with good, yeah? Truth is good, stopping truth is bad. Sure, sure. Morality. sure, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Morality, yeah. It's, it's, it's the, the idea of like best idea wins, you know? Yeah, I, I think there's, there's an issue with that because if let's just say you come here, obviously you're a nice person, we had a really nice conversation and you have some interesting ideas. Somebody might come and you know, personal situations, you know when the family member dies or worse still, family member gets killed. What happens is it fills you with a lot of animosity and venom. It's like people who go through breakups and divorces. Do you know the, the venom they have with the opposite gender? So how would you be able to distinct, uh, distinguish between a personal kind of vengeance or a bias with just taste? Because taste, I would argue, is, is influenced by a person's experiences. And most often than not, it's difficult for a person to distinguish the two and be objective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, distinguish the two, uh, uh, more morality slash taste and biases. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so somebody that's gone through something, let's just say John comes and John's uh, split up with his wife, his wife took everything. Sure. 
Yeah, and somebody and killed his father. Woman, yeah, yeah but he's coming here. He's saying, I'm liberal now. I'm liberal. I don't care about any religion. I da, 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 da. He's coming, but he's sharing views. Then on what basis can you say his views are wrong? Uh, no, on no basis. No this reason. is why there's a tradition of speaker and heckler. Mm. And they go and discuss it out. There's no basis. So there's no right or wrong then, in other words? No, the... the uh, I think what's life promoting is generally right. What's life demoting or death promoting is generally wrong. Uh, and that's all. Okay, interesting. So in your worldview, if let's just say in 50 years time, maybe after nuclear war, you know, Russia, Ukraine and all that happens, mm. then people start eating each other. Would you, and it's a majority, would you deem in your framework that eating people is okay now? No, obviously not. But why not? According to the criteria, of you said if life says it's good or life says it's bad. Yeah. So there, life saying is good, survival. If you don't eat somebody, you die. Yeah, yeah, no. And most people are doing it. Yeah. But you're saying it's wrong. It's, so, I, maybe I answer too quickly. My personal taste, and so is most people's, is that cannibalism is out there, you know, we're not walking meat, you know? We are though. <laughs> no, we're not. We have dignity. We have, we're not walking meat. This is a matter of personal taste. There's a story of a guy. But for them, personal taste is human. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no but, uh, With salt and pepper. But exactly, exactly. There's a story. I don't know if you know Craigslist. Do you know Craigslist? Yes. It's a website. Yes. A story of a guy that went, put himself, uh, said, I'm looking for someone to eat. And someone went and said, I want to be eaten. And then he took him. He ate them. Uh, he ate him and live streamed everything. No way. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And so, and in the US. And he went to court and he said in court, the guy agreed to be eaten. Consent. This is not 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there you see how different tastes react to this. Anyone religious is really abhorred by this. Conservatives, even liberals are really... So let's just say your daughter says to you, uh, Dad, I want to eat somebody. And you say, look, I don't want to eat somebody. Would you I allow her? That, no, it's, it's more than this. No, no, it would be... It's revolting. It's revolting. It's like I want to rape somebody. No, it's not okay. Because following your argument, it's like yes, cannibalism might be life promoting. So can rape. Yeah. Oh, I made a new life. Yes. You see? Yeah. yeah. But uh, not all ends justify the means. Cannibalism is not the taste, though, well. isn't it? If a person has taste for it, then yeah. to them it's okay. You know. No, uh, the rape matter is not a matter of taste. The cannibalism is a matter of taste. Okay, so because in, in your worldview, cannibalism would be tolerant. You'd be okay with that? It's a, it's a difficult... Personally, not. And if there was a bill, and it is outlawed in this but country... Out of interest, though, you said personally not. Why not? Because, as I told you, I don't think we're, uh, we're, we, we're pieces of oh, walking... Okay, okay. That's I think we have dignity, we're humans, we're dignified, okay. you know? Okay. We're not... Uh, Animals. What do you think makes us dignified? Our intellect. But there are other creatures that are very much intelligent. Octopus, very intelligent creature. Uh, I'm serious. No, I understand, but I, like... I was studying it for my paper. Yeah. Amazing creatures, octopus. I would yeah. suggest check it out. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, I <laughs> have a scientific background as well, but... Uh, oh, so you know octopus, no, amazing sure, creatures. Sure, sure, sure. And I yeah. watched them. My friend, the octopus, my teacher, yeah. the octopus documentary. Yeah. But uh, they can, okay, they can relate and whatever. But they can talk, make music, uh, ah, invent art, literature. They can't talk the way we talk. They communicate in other ways, no? It's called reactive, meaning um, they don't have a model of the world. For example, you touch a thing, an yes. electrical signal goes and it does something. Yes. But they don't, uh, not like us, not like us. But there are electrical signals in our body as well. Um, we know we're in Hyde Park in the United Kingdom, we're symbolic. Cognitively, we're symbolic, it's called. The others are reactive. For example, you have a fly. It goes around, you do like this, whoa, and then it goes around, it forgot you ever clap. It doesn't even know there's a human there, it forgot it instantly. But that, we are not like this, we have a model of the world. No animal does. But that's based upon our observations and our understanding. Uh, this is what scientists say that back in the days, we didn't assume or we didn't even acknowledge the fact that octopuses were incredibly intelligent. It's only when we developed the capability to actually measure it, then we realized, oh, octopuses are actually intelligent. That's why people have excluded... For an animal, for an animal. Yeah, but yeah, not, exactly. not for any 
not for any human standard. You can take it. I, I agree with you, by the way. But yeah, I'm yeah. just, I'm just challenging no, that that's thought. Fine, yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's uh, fine. I do think we're special. I don't advocate yeah, 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 <laughs> cannibalism yeah. either. But I suppose, and you tell me if I misconstrue you, that it's not for intellectual reasons that we're special. It's uh, because Allah chose us, or something like this. I, I would say it's both. Okay. Yeah, it's both. Um, for example, uh, we, we are special because the, the point that you said, because we communicate, we're spo um, uh, sorry, because we have consciousness, yeah. yeah, we have language, yeah, we have imagination, yeah, we cook our food. So I, I would say because of these, amongst many other reasons, that's, that's what makes us special. And that's why Allah says that we're special, because we're able to do these things. Sometimes this whole notion of separating the two, that's why even in Islam, there's no separation of church and state. Everything is uh, Islam. Yeah. It's, it's a way of life. This is why you don't have pluralism. You don't have Jews or Christians in these countries. What do you mean? Because it's the same yeah. and there are very strict things what you can say and you can't say. This is why... But bear in mind, not, uh, there's not a single country today that actually follows Islamic law completely. Like most of them, like if you think about it, would you be able to tell me a single country that you can say this is a shared country? Most Islamic countries uh, do have, for example, in Egypt, there is a, there is a code. Yes, yeah, some aspects of Sharia you're saying. No, 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 the opposite. Some aspects of man-made law and wherever there's no man-made law, it's Sharia. Automatically. Yeah, I, I would actually and say... this is the yeah. same for all Islamic countries. So you're saying Pakistan as well applies Sharia? I think, I think that there are some laws that are explicit, be, uh, relevant to 21st century Pakistan. We have three cameras. Uh, <laughs> it's because of Tom Cruise. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Is it, it's because uh, the conversation is so good, you know? Yeah, so good for three cameras or what will you... There are three different channels. Four cameras, yeah. Because you're, you are Tom Cruise. You're yeah. Tom Cruise, Egyptian Tom Cruise. <laughs> But um, yeah, I think this is very interesting because if a person takes on board um, liberalism, uh, who... By the way, I'm very... Uh, yeah, no, please go ahead, actually. Yeah. But discreetly, I'll take a picture of the four cameras, if you don't mind. Yeah, if you want to. So, <laughs> you want to show people how famous you are, yeah? Stay safe. <laughs> uh, okay, He's the okay, audience. Okay, 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 He's enjoying okay, your conversation. Okay, okay. Uh, who's part of it? Because people are supposed to see part of it? Uh, no, they put the cameras and they've gone. Yeah? Yeah. Why so? Because they have two, three cameras and they're filming different speakers. Ah, so. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is one channel, another channel, another channel. Okay, mashallah, very nice. Yeah, yeah. No, very nice. Your conversation. I'm conscious of your time. I don't want to make you no, late for anything. You, thank you, thank you. I really did enjoy the conversation. Likewise, I would like to carry it on, but I'm respectful Sunday, of your time. Thank you. I like, every Sunday I'm here. So uh, whether you, Ali Dawa, I see Salam and. I saw some videos online, yeah, Nima. Nice. but uh, yeah, you want to discuss? Yeah. Look, 100%. Islam is one of the big issues of the 21st century, and I think it's my like, it's our duty to engage with it. Yes. Uh, and whoever pass, walks past you, I think is wrong. I think more people should engage with it. Thank you. But, Thank uh, you, brother. Pleasure. What's, What's your name? name? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Zishan. Zishan? Yes. A nice name. Uh, my name is. Pavlos. 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 Difficult, but uh, I like hopefully it. you remember. It's uh, tropical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pavlos. Zishan, huh? Yes. I remember Zishan. Look after yourself, Pavlos. Thank you. Have, have a safe you journey, too, inshallah. Too, yeah. And you, you'll see me, you'll see me again. Inshallah, inshallah. Habibi, habibi, take care, you. yeah? You take care.